can never not lead. My mother would call that a double negative. You can never not lead. It's a double negative because a minus times a minus is a what? Positive, right? When you least expect it, you're leading. Through your attitude, through what you say, through your body language, you're either saying we can get this done, people we need for the company, or we can help students find jobs, or language, our body language, our attitude will let people know we don't really think it can happen. I would suggest to you as individuals that every day you think about how you're presenting yourselves. There are two kinds of people in the world, folks. There are people who can suck every ounce of energy out of your body because they're so negative. You know who they are. Some of you in this room right now. Look, look around right now. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. But you know people at work, right? Who can just bring you down, right? But then there are other people who can elevate you, who can inspire you. And here's, here's the secret. On any given morning, each of us has the choice to make of which category we'll be in. Because if you have a bad day at work at home in the morning, before you know it, you bring it to work, right? If you don't remember anything else, I say Think about how you want to present yourselves to other people. Because that positive attitude can, can always help to breed success. If I walk around my campus and I'm discouraged and I've got my head down, before I get back to my office, I've got 10 people saying, what's wrong, Doc? Can I help you? Right? But even if it's a tough day, if I can show people we can get through this, it elevates people and it makes all the difference in the world. You know, a few weeks ago when we had our commencement, the night before commencement, I could not sleep, and my, my student Matt could not sleep, because I was so pulling for him. He had written to me and said, throughout the last few years, when he first was able to move his toe, he was so happy that, again, we just got to the point of the idea that he'd worked so hard for a long time to move a toe. And then from that toe, he was able to move other toes. And then after more months, a foot. And every time he had just a little success, it encouraged him to push to the next level. Until finally, he moved his leg. You know, we do things all the time, just take them for granted. But I kept living with him and thinking about God, what it took to move a leg, and then another leg, and finally one day with the walker, he stood. So now we get to the day when he's going to try to use this walker. He's been doing it in the lab over Kennedy Krieger, but in front of thousands of people, under enormous pressure, with his family members from Arkansas there, he was determined to show us all what faith can do. And I wrote him at about 2 that morning on email and just said, I believe in you. And he wrote me back and just essentially said, and we believe in God. And when that boy, that young man, started walking across that stage with that walker, one step at a time, the whole place, we watched his legs we watched his face. And by the time he got to me, I couldn't stop hugging this man of faith. He was so powerful. It said, if we believe, if we just struggle to do our best, all things are possible. And so I challenge you today, watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. I tell my students your character has everything to do with who you are. When not only when people can see you, but when your mother's not there, what will you do? So your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny, dreams, and values. Thank you all very much.